We do have a new article to go through. These hedge funds have been wiped out in 2022. Which hedge funds have been underperforming in 2022? Hedge Fund Ticker Global is down around 54% for the year, despite gaining 1.4% in November, according to Bloomberg. Persons familiar with the matter say that the firm's long-only fund rose 5.1% in November. The hedge fund has been on a steady decline all year, though. In April, the firm sunk 34% after a bad run that was fueled by a massive bet on stocks that have been hammered, such as fast-growing tech companies in the U.S. and China. Tiger Global lost around 7% last year, its first annual drop since 2016, and its third total. But which other hedge funds have been losing money this year? We have Tiger Global and Whale Rock Capital Management were among stock-picking hedge funds to report significant losses so far this year. In September, Tiger Global saw losses as high as 66.5% per Bloomberg. Whale Rock widened its losses to around 41%. A report conducted in March concluded that almost 80%. Of all active hedge fund managers are underperforming major indexes such as the S&P 500. Which hedge funds have been underperforming? Below is a list of other hedge funds underperforming in 2022. This list includes Light Street Capital Management down around 50%. We have Maverick Capital down around 27% and third point 21.10% in the red. Melvin Capital closed its doors in June of 2022 after it failed to make significant losses up after a bet against GameStop. Anchorage Capital is another hedge fund that closed after betting against meme stocks like AMC. It closed its doors after 18 years when it could no longer provide the clients the ability to withdraw their capital. Hedge funds are heading to one of the worst years of performance on records, and we're seeing new headlines come out almost on the daily. It's getting worse, guys. But what's interesting is that the apes predicted this all along. It's almost like it was easy to see this whole thing coming. The lawsuit going on against Citadel may be something to watch. This could set a precedence. The firm representing Northwest Biotech, Cohen Millstone Sellers in Toll, is a very reputable firm. I don't think that they would take on a Wall Street giant and criminal like Citadel and Virtue if they didn't have a solid case. Cohen Minstein Sellers and Toll is the same firm that took on Exxon, Donald Trump, and many others, and they actually came out successful. One of the tailgate signs of a manipulative spoofer is a rapid reversal of trading direction. A lot of sell orders followed by buy orders, followed by cancellation of sell orders. Sounds like what's been going on with AMC stock also. So this lawsuit against Citadel is definitely going to be something to watch. Stay tuned guys, subscribe because I will be going over it shortly.